How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use JavaScript to add a confirmation window when the user attempts to close your web page. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have all seen this before and it's all very easily done using a few lines of JavaScript. Right here, I've got a feedback input field. If I was to type some text inside here, then I try to refresh the page okay, or close the page, we're going to get this confirmation message. If I was to press cancel, I'm going to stay where I am. And if I was to, of course, close that page and then press leave, I'm going to actually leave the page. And there we go. So we're going to be starting uh, with this tab right here. I've already gone ahead and created the input field just to speed things up a little bit. But also keep in mind that you don't need to have the conditional, okay. You don't need to say, is there text in this input field? If so, then show the confirmation. You can actually apply this across the board. So it's gonna be up to you uh, which one you want to go for, okay? So going inside VS Code, this page currently looks like this. I've got the label for the feedback input and of course the text area to enter the text into. Now, going inside the JavaScript file, this here is going to work through an event and the event is called window before unload. All right. So we'll say here window dot add event listener, then listen for the before unload event. We're going to grab onto the event object right here, EV, then finish the arrow function. And within here, what's happening is basically this arrow function is going to run whenever the user requests to leave your page or in this terminology, unload the page, okay? So this is gonna uh, fire off when you want to refresh or leave the page, etc. And the default behavior of when the user requests this unload is gonna be to of course close the page. That's the default behavior. We want to prevent that default behavior. So what do we do? We say ev.prevent default, okay? This is gonna stop that default behavior. And in this case here, with the, uh, uh, with the before unload event, the browser, if it sees prevent default, it's gonna trigger that confirmation uh, dialog, okay? If I was to save this here, then go back in the web page, I'll refresh here, okay? We have that code now on the page. If I was to not move my mouse and press refresh again, we can see it actually still refreshes the page, even though I said it was gonna have the confirmation message. If you were to pause the video quick enough here, you might see that console log error, which is just appearing there. Okay, so watch the console. You get a little uh, red error message. That's just saying that there's been no interactivity from the user on the web page. So the user needs to actually interact with the page. For example, if I do this and this, etc., now it's going to have that uh, confirmation go ahead. So if I was to, again, try to refresh, we get the dialogue right there. So it is that easy using this single line of code, or I guess three lines, to have that behavior implemented. And it's going to work for your refreshes as well as your closes, okay? Now, what about the conditionals? Well, you can basically do whatever you want, as to my knowledge, right, for your conditional. So in my case here, I wanna say, look, if this input has value, then just confirm if the user wants to finish typing the input or whatever it might be. So back inside here, we're gonna say, okay, let's get a reference to the text area. Const feedback input is equal to document.gets element by ID. I've given the text area an ID of feedback input. Okay, just over here. There we go. And we're going to say, look, okay, let's grab onto the value. So feedback is equal to feedback input dot value. We're then just going to trim the value just to be sure. Okay, in case the user enters space characters or something like that. Then we're going to say, look, we're going to say if feedback dot length is more than zero, then we're gonna prevent that default behavior. So yeah, essentially what I'm saying here is your prevent default can be conditional. You can say only prevent the default behavior if your feedback 
um, has a value. Save this back in the browser. Refresh here. Okay, there we go. I'll type in, well, nothing. Refresh and it works, okay? If I type a value like some text in the example earlier, refresh, we now get that confirmation. So that is how to add a confirmation message when the user attempts to uh, close your web page using JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.